It is time for Greatness Coaching with Heidi M. right here on E-Radio. She's back with us on a Wednesday at 2 o'clock. And today we're talking about getting over a bad breakup. How do you get up again and move on? Heidi is going to help us to do that today. Heidi, hello. Hello. Yes, I am going to help you because nobody likes being broken up with. It is just never nice, Mm. especially if you didn't see it coming. Um, And then very often when we do see it coming, we choose to ignore it. And then it always ends up being a nasty surprise and a kick in the gut. Um, So, Eon, I was thinking I must just first discuss with you why this is so dreadful. Why does it Mm. feel like you're going to die? Yeah. Um, Because... Your primitive mind does think you are going to die. In primitive times, and remember, we, we've said this to each other a number of times, that in uh, uh, primitive times, we still have our primitive brain today. Mm. Um, life has, has become modern, and our bodies have become modern, but our brains are still primitive. And in primitive times, if you were rejected... That would mean death for you. Hmm. That would mean that you have to go and wander the plains of Africa or Europe all on your own. And this is before it was Africa and Europe, um, all on your own. And you were bound to to die of hunger or to be killed by a wild animal. So Hmm. your primitive brain still thinks that rejection means death. And you need to actually remind yourself and say it out loud to yourself. I will not die. Because, and, and, and it may sound funny or corny at the moment, but you have to do it in order for your brain to recognize that you won't die. Then immediately the symptoms, the, the, um, the shallow breathing, uh, the heart that jumps out of your chest, uh, the sinking feeling in your stomach, the nausea, the lack of appetite will, will uh, be alleviated if you just remind yourself that you will not die. And it's okay to, to think initially that you will die. It's your primitive brain kicking in. So you just need to sort that one out for yourself. You, you, you're the only one that can do that. So um, it doesn't necessarily mean, and this is another one or two things that I need you to remind yourself of. So you see what I'm doing here. You actually have to go and sit quietly, be by yourself and, and work this thing out for yourself. And it's great to say it out loud. I will not die. It's just my primitive brain kicking in. There's no, I'm not going to die. Then it's not necessarily well it doesn't mean that it's not you that's not good enough that's not what it means and it does not necessarily mean that the other person the person who did the dumping who did the breaking up um, is a bad person it is a situation that did not work out you have to guard against saying, oh, well, I'm so pathetic. I can't even hold on to this person uh, and, and, and uh, feeling less than. You need to remind yourself that this whole situation probably has very little to do with you and very uh, much to do with a situation that is just not working out for the other person. And if you then in, in, in time find a way of uh, reflecting Reflecting on this uh, relationship that was, you see, it's 2020. Is uh, hindsight is always 2020, right? Um, mm. That you will actually see for yourself if you're very honest with yourself how the situation was just not working out. Um, Eon, you know, it's very important to uh, sit with yourself and to say, what can I learn from this? It's extremely important. Yeah. Otherwise, all your your time and effort and uh, and and heartache subsequently with the breakup would be for nothing. And we don't need that. We don't need all of this to be for nothing. 
You need to learn something from this. What could I learn? Did I perhaps uh, ignore the red flags? Did I see these red flags and ignore them? I mustn't do that again in future. And, and, and say it out loud to yourself. Was I blinded by this person's uh, um, money and and all the, the spoils that I, that I was given so much so that I didn't even realize that um, that I didn't really even like this person much. So learn, learn the lessons. Ask yourself the hard questions and learn the lessons. Um, write them down or say them out loud for yourself until you've made complete sense of it. It is so important. And you know, once you've made a, a notes mental or otherwise of the lessons that you've learned, you will feel better already. But this is going to take a little bit of time to be able to do this lesson learning properly. And that brings me to my next point. You have to give yourself time. You cannot expect to feel like a million dollars again within a day or two or three maybe. I would say after a week you need to start asking yourself these questions, mm. max, uh, five days to a week, um, where you just in that time, just spend time with yourself making sense of everything. And then with regards to taking time, also take time again to go into a new relationship. Don't fall for that dreadful lie of the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else. That <laughs> is a lie. I don't know who thought of that. Yeah. It will be a distraction. Yes, you will feel better um, for, the, for the moment, but you're not living for the moment. You're thinking of your future and you are thinking – um, of of your own healing by by uh, jumping into another relationship too quickly, you're bound to repeat the same mistakes, um, and you owe it to yourself to do healing first and then go into a next relationship so that you can do that with a whole human being, a whole you, not a broken one. Um, a broken person is never able to be put back together by somebody else. You are the only person that can put yourself back together. Mm. Um, and then just in, in, the, in the final uh, thought that I have about this, um, you must always remember that the person that broke up with you is not taking uh, the stuff that he loved about or that she loved about you or that are in you with them. Those things are still in you. Wow. And those things you can keep and must make even better by doing the proper healing so that you can share that with the next person to come. If you're a kind, gentle person, if you're a, a shoulder to cry on for people, if you're a support for people, if you're a generous person, if you are smart, if you are funny, if you are well-read and well-traveled, all of those good qualities, that person can't take it with them. It's still there. It's still within you, and that makes you – just as lovable, if not more so, for the next person. And there is, an, there is somebody else out there for you. There's no such thing as there's only one person in this world for you. That's nonsense. There are seven. I looked it up yesterday. I think we're on 7.6 billion people in the world. <laughs> sure. Do you really think God would be so cruel as to make <laughs> only one? You know, that doesn't exist. It's, it's not mm. a cruel game. Life is not a cruel game. It's just about you navigating. So you will find somebody else, but make it worth your own while and make it worth their while by healing yourself and by loving yourself and remembering 
what lessons you've learned so that you can just do better and better every time. And I wish you and all the listeners beautiful, strong, healthy relationships. Yeah, thank you, Heidi. So I really hope this is going to help people uh, currently uh, lying on their beds and crying, you know, and uh, 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 eating too much chocolate while crying on the bed, you know, like we see (laughs) in the movies. Get up. You need to get up now. You can do the crying on the bed and you can eat the chocolate, too much of it, but only for two days. Then you must get up and go. Okay, so you can do that for two uh, days. uh, Longer than that, (laughs) Eon, you're going to start feeling very, very sorry for yourself. And then it's going to become more and more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not alone. You're not a soul. Millions of people have made it through this kind of situation and millions more will still make it in future. And you are one of those that can make it. You can do this. You can do this. Mm. And do not listen to songs like, I can't live without you. <laughs> I can't live if living is without you. I can't Ooh. breathe if breathing Whoa. is not. It's, it's a lie. You can. <laughs> you can. And you will. <laughs> it's a corny love song. It's not a, yeah, I know a lot of people, they actually go to these corny <laughs> love songs for some reason. And then they cry and they cry and they look at photos and they cry and cry. Maybe that is kind of like a, a grieving a stage that, you know, like like you when you have, when you, yes. when you lose someone. You need to just get through that. Yes. Allow yourself, obviously, to get through it. But, yes. but don't go on yes. for too long. That's it. The cathartic moments; those are very important. But don't don't indulge. Don't become uh, 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 depressed, and don't go on for too long. Yeah, two days. Remember my voice. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, yes. Yeah, so instead of uh, listening to that, uh, can't live if if living is without you. I think that was uh, Mariah Carey <laughs> sang that, and somebody before her as well. Um, oh, there's one song you should right. listen to. One song you need to listen to, definitely, is Leanne Rhymes' Life Goes On. (laughs) Love that, love that, Eon. Maybe you'll play it for us later today. Yes, it's actually, that is actually a song about a breakup, I think, yeah. And and she's singing about life going on, yeah. That's it, and it does. She was right. (laughs) She was right. Heidi, as always, uh, thank you so much. Next week, we're talking about egos. Yes, we are talking about egos and letting go of that ego that might be a tad big. It's never attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, till next week, thank you so much. Thank you, Eon. Have a beautiful rest of your day. You too.